sounds good. Well, today, of course, a lot of people focusing on gas and Fox 35 should learn when a major U.S. pipeline is going to be back up and running. Of course, that cyber attack shut that pipeline down, putting all this into motion. And that, Ryan, has led to a rush on gasoline up and down the East Coast, including right here in the state of Florida. State officials sending a clear message to stay calm before 11 a.m. on Tuesday. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Free tweeted out this statement here, and she urged people in Florida to not hoard gas or to form long lines at gas stations. Fox 35 Sydney Cameron is live in Seminole County for us this morning and said the governor is also trying to get more fuel onto the road. Governor Ron DeSantis actually declared a state of emergency last night, which lifts restrictions and gives local governments the people and resources they need to get fuel into the state. Now, the country's largest gas pipeline has been shut down since Friday. AAA says gas prices are on track to hit their highest point since 2014, and we will likely feel the pain until service to the Colonial Gas Pipeline is fully restored. The current national average for gas is $3. In Florida, it's $2.88. Triple A says the longer the pipeline is down, the greater the threat of rising gas prices. Now, we are already seeing gas outages in several states because people are worried about the pipeline. Gas Buddy reporting 3.4% of gas stations in Florida are out of gas. Federal officials are urging people not to rush to the pump. It's not that we have a gasoline shortage, it's that we have this supply crunch. Now, Fox News is reporting the pipeline is expected to restore service by the end of this week. But, of course, we are going to stay on top of that and continue to monitor it. So make sure you stay with Fox 35 on air and have that Fox 35 News app downloaded so you can stay up to date as well. Reporting live in Seminole County, Sydney Cameron, Fox 35 News.